Welcome to Three Minute Thoughts. So I'm going to talk today about what is sepsis. I didn't know anything about it before, so I'm mostly reading from an article, so not an expert. Can, I'll comment on what I see in this that matches my experiences so far. And the first thing is to understand it's a, it's a viral can, uh, cascade when you have an infection in your body and then it starts to just spread. The body has a reaction just to fight it off, and in the process of fighting it off, it starts like shutting down everything and then you die. That's the quick and easy. It can be caused by a number of factors, bacterial infections, parasites, fungi, viruses. It could be from something that started large, something that started small. Lots of different choices. Now, it's common for people who are pregnant, have weak immune systems because of HIV and cancer, are very young, very old, recently hospitalized, uh, using catheters or breathing tubes, diabetes, and having other serious medical conditions. I don't actually fit into any of those categories, so I'm not sure. I know I had, the inf- I had an infection. Other than that, I don't fall into any of the categories that are usually, even though I am old, I'm not the very old person that they explain in this situation. Common symptoms are like fevers and chills, very low body temperature, peeing less than normal, fast heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue and weakness, flushy and color, discolored skin, sweaty, clammy skin, severe pain. Now, I did have a severe pain. I also had uh, like 103 body temperature, which is crazy. And I did have a very fast heartbeat when I got in here. So that was the th- one, two major warning signs. The third one is you're also like your memory and your cognition, like your disoriented. I did not have that. And then they immediately started looking for like bacteria in your blood, which there's still tests out there for me. CT scan, they did that. Higher low white blood count. I've already mentioned in the previous video, white count, blood count was high. Acid in the blood, your lactose levels. And that actually was fine. Lack of oxygen in your blood. I've got this little thingy checking my oxygen blood all the time, but that's been fine. Problem with the higher blood clots. They've got these massages on my legs to make sure I don't blood clot, because again, they don't want that issue. Electrolytes have been trying to keep me balanced with something called LR as opposed to saline. But funnily enough, I was taking a bunch of Gatorade. Just subconsciously, I said, let's start taking Gatorade before all this happened, before I came to the ER. So maybe that helped. I don't know. Or kidney and liver problems to check for, which I got fatty liver, but know the problems. Now, the reason why I think this is what they're looking for is like the treatment is they start to you on on the fluids and a broad spectrum of antibodies. They gave me like three different antibodies to begin with, and they checks for like one antibodies for fungal, one's for viral, one's for bacterial. Just the whole they want to cover you all your bases because they again they don't know the source when you get in, and I had that whole gamut of stuff. Oh yeah, severe cases will even like might have you on like dialysis or other type of machines, but no, I'm not a severe case. Sepsis is something that is kind of lethal, can kill you in 12 hours. I don't. It says here it's deadly within 25 to 40 cases. I guess that's if it's caught before it's too late. It's a killer. It's good to know about it, and I don't know if there's a, a mnemonic warning thing for it. I think if you're in pain and you've got a fever and stuff, yeah, you should go get it checked out. Lesson learned. Have a good day.